as we've already seen, there are some incredible local heroes across the country, with us about to showcase some more. With targets set by central government to house rough sleepers across the country, I'm speaking to organisations that are doing their bit. The, the range of emotions and feelings that are going through people who are, who are on the streets right now, I mean, it's, it's very, very difficult to sum that up. But Here's Barry from homeless charity St Basil's. The reality is you're, you're dealing with a, a group of people who are already vulnerable, um, already are suffering from a series of issues, some of them mental health issues. Um, and the thing is that the, the tasks of organisations like ours, like in St Basil's, uh, become increasingly difficult. Well, we know the support that young people need to give them the best chance to succeed. That's about helping them with their mental health, it's around helping them with their education, it's about helping them develop aspiration. And we, and Youth Homelessness, funds all those things and works with its member charities to provide the best services in those areas as it possibly can. Uh, the challenge right now is that most of our members aren't able to deliver a wraparound service because they're fighting so hard just to keep the doors open and young people in beds. And despite all the worry, this tricky time appears to be showcasing the best in people. What we've got is people are understanding for the first time that in actual fact, you know, there is an awful lot more that unites us than actually separates us. You know, over the last few years, I think it's fair to say that this country has, has had a bit of a, a divide, for want of a better term. Um, but all of a sudden, we realise that, you know, we're all experiencing this together. Uh, we all have a, a common enemy for the first time in so many years. Um, and I think, you know, the, the thing that's really highlighting is the fact that we really, really do need to work together. Thank you.